Hi, this is Miss Carol from Avon Lake Public Library. Glad you could join us today. We're going to do a story about snow. Okay, the name of this book is Pablo in the Snow by Terry Sloat, illustrated by Rosalind Bonnet. Thanks to Henry Holt and company for letting us share this story with you today. It's early in the morning and the sheep are still dreaming, except for Pablo. Pablo is looking out the window. Look, Papa, pieces of clouds are falling. Papa opens one eye. Those are just snowflakes, Pablo. Go back to sleep. But Pablo has never seen snow. What is it for, he wonders. He tiptoes past his Papa and his Mama to the barn door. Pablo pokes the snow with his toe. The snow feels soft powdery and fluffy. He takes a few steps and looks at the tracks behind him. Snow is for making a trail, says Pablo. But who has made this trail? Do you see another trail down at the bottom here? Pablo follows long tracks until he finds Rabbit pulling her sled. Hop on, says Rabbit. Zip, zoom, swoosh, swish. They ride through the trees and into the meadow. Snow is for fun, shouts Pablo. At the bottom of the hill, Pablo finds new tracks to follow. Something sails past Pablo's nose. Squirrel and Shrew are having a snowball fight. Back and forth, snowballs fly. Snow is for throwing, shouts Pablo, ducking his head. Pablo finds more tracks. They lead him to the other side of the meadow where Fox is rolling a big snowball. But instead of throwing it, he rolls it bigger and bigger. The snowball grows round and smooth and heavy. Pablo helps Fox roll a second, bigger snowball, and then a third one. With Rabbit's help, they stack the snowballs, one on top of the other. Squirrel finds an acorn for the nose. Rabbit places frozen berries into a big smile. Pablo reaches up with two flat, round stones for the eyes. And with Fox's help, Shrew adds a warm, fuzzy scarf. Snow is for making friends, says Pablo, laughing. The snow is falling faster now. It's time to go back to my den, says Fox. Squirrel scurries up his tree. Shrew and Rabbit disappear into their burrows. But Pablo does not want to leave his snowy friend behind. He looks up at the sky. Thick gray snowflakes fall quietly. Pablo's friend looks very sleepy. Pablo feels sleepy too. Good night, Pablo tells his snow friend. Sleep tight. The snow is deep and wet and cold. I need to go home, thinks Pablo. Pablo looks for his tracks, but they have disappeared. Pablo is lost. Bah, says Pablo. Through the trees, Pablo hears, bah, bah. Pablo knows these sounds. At the edge of the trees, he sees two lumps of snow with legs. One lump has Mama's eyes. One lump has Papa's eyes. Both lumps say, ba and give Pablo a big kiss. Together, they make a trail back to the barn. They shake off the snow and snuggle close in the straw. Snow is for big adventures, thinks Pablo. But snow is cold, and the barn is warm and dry. And Mama and Papa are very, very 
cozy. The end. Let's do a poem about a snowman. A snowman has some buttons. And the snowman has a hat. And then the sun comes out. What do you think is going to happen? Here's how you be a snowman. Snowmen are chubby like this. It goes like this. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons. Here is my hat. And you pull your hat down like this. When the sun comes out, I will be gone. Just a puddle on the lawn. Did you get that? Let's do it again. Only this time, if you want, we can sing it. It sounds like I'm a little teapot. Ready? I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons. Here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I will be gone. Just a puddle on the lawn. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I hope you can come again next week.